Do you just own so many chickens that you cannot handle it alone anymore? Do you fill your day poking and squeezing them all by hand? Is there no time left to do other tasks? Are they taking over your life? Not anymore, because today I'm making the chicken push- the, the what? The chicken pusher. Hang on, to see how I make it. These are the chickens that I ordered for my machine. And I ordered them because they looked funny. I like that they're very big, but they don't sound good at all. This one's already broken. It only squeaks when it goes out and it doesn't really blow up. Then I ordered these. Way better. So these are the ones I'm gonna use. I've got three of them, but I'm actually gonna use only one. So I'm gonna choose the nicest. This is the one I'm going for. So now I've determined the chickens that I need. The next step is to determine how I'm gonna activate them. And I'm thinking to do it like this. So it's gonna be an actual finger mold from silicon that pushes the chicken. You want to make it feel natural for the chicken, you know? Before I'm gonna mix up all the silicon, I need to make something where I can make the mold into. And the last time I wiped it all on my hand, as you do with live casting. But this time, since it's only gonna be a small volume, I'm gonna put it in this piece of PVC tubing so I can have a mold that can actually stand upright. I think I made way too much. But we'll see. Do this. I think it's gonna be like 15 minutes, so it's gonna be some quality content. Okay, I think I can take it out. Let's see. It creates a vacuum at the bottom, so it's. I need to get some air. Yeah, there we go. The round stock is going to be the axle where the finger is going to be mounted on and then we're going to cast it around it. Silicon doesn't bond to anything so I need to cut some grooves in the side with the angle grinder to have it some sort of shape where the silicon can hold on to. On the other side I'm going to mount it so I need to drill a hole in it and cut some threads. I'm going to do that on the lathe but if you don't have a lathe you can also do it with just a regular drill and a vise or something. If you don't have a lathe, it's probably better to just get one anyway, because it's a great tool. The reason I want to cut it is that it gives a flat surface on top. And when you have a flat surface on top, I can use this piece of wood with the axle. To actually keep the axle in place when pouring the silicon. Be about this deep, like that. That's how I want it. Perfect. Let's mix up some more silicon. Got mixed it really well. Let's try this. Just gonna let it overflow and then cut it off. I think it's perfect. While the finger is drying, I need to figure out how to mount this chicken. Chicken has a bit of an angled back and I want to mount it on an aluminum profile. So otherwise if I would just glue it on, it sits like this. And I want it to be removable and a bit comfortable for the chicken of course. There we go. I think this should be a nice back bed for the chicken. Nice and comfy. Next step, I need to make a magnet in here or in the chicken, but I think the easiest is to put the magnet in here and put a piece of metal in the chicken. Sorry. So I need to make something in here that fits on there. And I have this big bolt that I think if I put it in here, 
will hold the chicken just fine. But I need to glue it, roughen it a little bit. Look, chicken, bam! I think it's done, so let's get it out. It looks good. I don't want to take the pin out of the finger, I want to take the finger out of the mold. Ooh! <laughs> there it is! <laughs> I hope it's strong enough. I think it's a little bit too weak. You see, the finger bends. The rod only goes still here and from here is just silicon. And I think it's gonna be a bit too weak. I think I should make another one with the thing all the way to the front. I think this one's gonna be a lot better. Look. It actually bounces a bit. So, having this, I need the mechanism that actually pushes the finger to the chicken. And I have something nice for that. Let's go see if the prints are ready. Still going. I'm gonna mount this whole mechanism on this piece of aluminum strip. I missed the placement of the hole a little bit, so I have to fix it. That should be better. See if it works. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? <laughs> I think we can call this a success, but it, I'm not going to use it like this. It needs a base, otherwise it kind of misses its point. So, off to the computer. I want the frame of the machine to be really simple, so I'm using Fusion 360 to draw two feet that I can 3D print. And the goal of these feet is that the feet alone can build up the whole frame of the thing. I'm gonna make a frame of these two feet that I 3D printed and this aluminum tubing and the tubing fits on here like this and in here as well that way I can make some sort of a U-bracket to make the frame for the first one I know what the length is for the other one I have to kind of determine it see what height we need the chicken and the distance between the finger and the chicken so let's make this first one and then we can figure it out cool thing is that these fit in here and what's really cool with aluminum tubing like this is that you can basically just screw it together. It's not going to be the strongest bond, but it doesn't need to be. To screw it together, I'm drilling a 2mm hole and then I can drive a 3mm screw in it. That way you have, yeah, you have a start for the screw. Does it fit? This is like slightly too large. So I'm gonna take something off here so this tubing fits over it. 
always good to have some fine woodworking tools. Had to print a new block, but now it works. So this goes on here, like this, and then it goes on the leg, like this. That's on half, and now we have to determine where the chicken is going to be. So I think I have to turn the motor a little bit, so this is in the front position, and then I can determine exactly where it needs to be. It's going to be on here somewhat like this. Chicken. Uh, yeah, this is the height. This is the perfect height. That's better. Look. If I go really slow, nothing happens. If I go fast, it just needs to go a bit faster. Perfect. One independent chicken. Perfect. Okay, okay, I get it. This innovation is probably years ahead of its time and you might not really understand the concept. You can use this thing for a lot of things. You can use this as an alarm clock. As something nice in your house. Or to annoy your roommate. But there are a lot more options you can use this for. Once you have it, you probably don't know how you could do without it. So if you want to see more innovations like this, go check out the playlist over here. Hit that subscribe button before you leave. And don't forget, dare to experiment and have fun creating.